This leads us to the wildest theory of all. We didn't find the dragon in the ground. We found it inside our own heads. This is the hardwired brain hypothesis. In his book, An Instinct for Dragons, anthropologist David E. Jones proposed a revolutionary idea. Imagine your brain is a security system that's been fine-tuned over millions of years. It's been programmed to instantly recognize our three biggest ancestral threats, big snakes on the ground, giant birds of prey from the sky, and stealthy big cats from the bush. Jones argued that the dragon is what happens when a power surge trips all those alarms at once. It's a neurological cocktail of our primal fears, a super predator stitched together from the scaly body of a snake, the sharp talons of an eagle, and the powerful jaws of a leopard. It's an enemy hardwired not into our culture, but into our DNA. It didn't have to be seen. It was an instinct waiting in the dark corners of our collective mind. So, what's the real story behind the dragon? The truth probably isn't one single answer, but a powerful mix of all three. It's like an ancient recipe. The discovery of giant fossils provided the flower, the basic physical substance of a monster. Witnessing volcanoes and floods provided the heat, the explosive elemental powers. But our hardwired brain provided the yeast, that invisible, ancient ingredient that made the whole thing rise into the universal monster we were all destined to imagine.